There's a lot to unpack here, so buckle up. The year 2024 has been both pivotal and eye-opening for me. I got signed to one of the biggest modeling agencies in the world, settled into a connect group at my church, finally got a girlfriend, and most significantly, it dawned upon me that for the last 28 years of my life, I had been living in the matrix, the great rat race, and I realized that I would do whatever it took to escape it. Since that realization, I restarted posting regularly on my YouTube channel, started an online shop selling digital fitness and physiotherapy products, and attended several model castings, sacrificing most of my day job annual leave to actually make myself available. But I felt like I had purpose, a reason to get up in the mornings. This is something I used to struggle with when I used to work full time in the NHS. However, lately things have been at a standstill. It does feel like the hard work and effort has been fruitless, that it's been all for nothing. I've been optioned for a lot of modeling jobs, but not actually confirmed. And you need confirmation to book the job and to get paid. My YouTube channel growth has been kind of slow, despite the effort that I'm putting in. And most days people in my life, whether that be colleagues, family members, friends, they're all telling me that I need to be more realistic with my career choices. Apparently being an aspiring entrepreneur isn't realistic or practical. I would say that generally my mood has been somewhat lower than usual and I have struggled with motivation, energy levels and the hustle. This is known as a rut. Now I don't say all of this as a complaint or to try and grasp at some semblance of sympathy from all of you. On the contrary, I am confident that I am on the breakthrough of something extraordinary. It's supposed to be hard. Real men are forged in the fire. Life is war. I haven't got what I want yet, but I know that's because I have not yet earned it. Hi there. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Matty. And in this video, I want to share with you guys how I get myself out of a rut. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first way that I get myself out of a rut is by fixing my sleep schedule. This is the starting point. Quite often when I'm in a rut, I actually find it really difficult to go to bed at a sensible time. This is because I'm often surfing the web or on Netflix to the late hours of the evening or even in some cases, the early hours of the morning. What happens is as I go to bed later, the next day I wake up later and so on and so on and it's just a vicious cycle of going to bed later and later and messing up my sleep pattern. So when I've decided it's time to get myself out of the rut, when my alarm goes off the next morning, it doesn't matter what time I went to bed the previous night, even if it's painful, even if I'm tired, even if my eyes are glued shut because they're so dry, I get myself out of bed as soon as that alarm goes off. I do not press the snooze button and for Pete's sake, I do not play that really risky game where you say to yourself, I'm gonna shut my eyes for just a minute because the chances are you're gonna fall back asleep. I open those curtains to let sunlight in. I drink a bottle of water, usually this bottle of water. I try and get myself through at least halfway, if not the full way, and that's about a liter. And brushing my teeth and washing my face because I know for a fact once my face is clean, I'm not getting back into bed. The second step is exercise. Even if I don't feel like it, just the act of going outside and moving my body is a huge mood boost. There is also a lot of research to show that daylight exposure in the morning within about 90 minutes of waking up actually signals to the body to release hormones that are going to make you feel more alert and also improve your mood. And on the day of recording this video, on the 19th of August, I'm actually starting a new upper body and lower body split. So two times a week bench, two times a week squat focused and I'm really looking forward to it. Aside from all the other health benefits, I just find training and working out, generally getting my body moving and getting back into the swing of things really does help get myself out of a rut, really does help improve my mood. The key here really is small consistent changes, 
even a 30 minute workout that you do in the mornings better than none at all. And you can gradually increase the duration of your workout. Step three is to write down your goals and have a to-do list. I found that writing down my goals sets me on the right path to achieving them. They are no longer just ideas swirling around in my head. They're no longer just dreams, but something actually tangible. They become practical tasks I endeavor to complete. Additionally, it clears up space in my already cluttered mind. And if you're someone who experiences anxiety from time to time, like myself, then it's just really helpful. Something else I'll do is write a to-do list the night before or right after I clock out my daily activities. And the reason I do this is because there's been some research to show that your brain starts problem solving overnight. Step number four is fixing my diet. There is no doubt on an anecdotal level that what you eat affects your health, your performance and how you feel. When I find myself in a bit of a rut, it's really easy to get takeouts to eat junk food pizza, burgers, donuts, things that are gonna give me a really short-term boost in dopamine, but that aren't actually gonna be good for me in the long run. These takeaways seem to be more pleasurable and convenient than actually preparing a healthy home-cooked meal. I try to eat foods that are high in healthier fats, such as oily fish, olive oil, and nuts, as well as lean proteins, vegetables, and whole grains. So getting my diet back on track from a rut is probably one of the trickiest things, but I would say this is one of the most important things that you can do to get yourself back on track. Because if you feel better, if you're eating healthier and you feel better, then you're more likely to be able to stick with the changes. Step number five is listening to motivational content. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, Matty, you are the motivational content and Whilst you wouldn't be wrong to say that, even I, from time to time, do need some words of encouragement. I acknowledge that discipline is more important than motivation. Discipline is the thing that's gonna make sure that you're successful. Implementing all these habits and just doing them even though you don't feel like it and just getting the swing of things is gonna be the thing that impacts you the most. However, when you listen to Coach Payne or Chris Williamson or have David Goggins shouting at you to get hard. So those days you don't wanna do it, Guess what you gotta do? You gotta suck it the fuck yeah. up and do it. Stay hard. It's just gonna help you. Wow, that's a lot of information to unpack. And quite frankly, if you guys are still here at the end of the video, it means that you have good attention spans and you don't have TikTok brain rot, basically. So congrats to you guys. And because you've stayed this long, I'm gonna share a bonus tip. The main thing that is gonna help you get out of a rut is remembering your why. Why am I trying to get out of where I am? Why do I want things to change? And for me, it's all about taking the risks, having no plan B basically, and being like, I would rather try and do everything in my power to change my life and shoot for greatness and try and be the best possible version of myself, as opposed to being comfortably numb and being in this sort of area where I am not really happy with my life, but I'm kind of just uncomfortable, but it's enough to get by. So I hope that you guys have found this video useful. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found.